against cancer. Well, it's early December, but the Missouri Valley Conference basketball season is already in full swing. Today, from Carver Arena in Peoria, Illinois, a fantastic early season matchup between the Indiana State Sycamores and the Braves of Bradley. Both teams opened league play this past week. Indiana State got an impressive win Tuesday at home over Southern Illinois. Bradley suffered a loss at Murray on Wednesday, so he got one down, 19 conference games to go here in the Valley. Hi again, everybody. Clay Matvick alongside my good buddy Kevin Lehman. It's great to have you with us. Should be another good year in the Valley. The last two seasons, this has been decided on the last day of the regular season, and this year both of these teams should be in the mix at the end. You got Josh Shirts. It's year number three. It's a high-powered offense. They're all over the offensive stats, points, assists, and Bradley defending regular season champs. They hang their hat on defense, length, physicality. This is a great matchup here, and we're just December 2nd in the Valley. Indiana State in road blue today. Bradley in their alternate whites. Jeb Hartness, Amy Bonner, and Roland Simmons are veteran officiating crew for the 100th all-time meeting between Indiana State and Bradley. It should be good, so sit back. Let's enjoy this one here in the Missouri Valley Conference. And the opening possession controlled by the Braves, and it doesn't take long for our first personal foul. It's going to go on Robbie Avila, who needs to stay out of foul trouble today for the second one. Avila was on Kent. They're trying to go to the top of the screens. Now they call it those switches. Jeb Hartness sent 21 to the scorer's table, but right, apparently it's been adjusted to go to Jason Kent. That's actually a break no, yes. for the trees. Know your personnel. There are some players that go to the top of the screens, others below. First turnover taken away by Ryan Conwell, the South Florida transfer. And good defense. Getting back defensively, as you said, Kevin, is going to be key for Bradley today. And now we're exchanging turnovers left and right. Conwell to Kent. And the Bradley transfer with the first points of the game on the stuff. Welcome home. Welcome back home, Jason Kent. He started his career at Bradley. Now he's more in the powder blue of the Sycamores. That's floated up and in for Duke Dean, who's been slumping a bit from the field. Gets a mid-range floater to go. Good start for Bradley. Need points from Duke Dean to get this offense going. Indiana State has won five in a row. Really dominated Southern on Tuesday night. I know they're in for a battle here today as Avila is fouled. And that's going to go against Christian Davis. Avila is a true point center. They will play through him in the high post. Then they'll send him down the low post. Coming off a great rookie season. Kevin, he's a guy who can really do it all. Unbelievable skill set. Can pass it, can shoot it, can stretch out the three-point line. But his vision and ability to find his teammates, one of the reasons why the Sycamores are one of the tops in the nation at over 17 assists a game. Avila gets one of two at the line. He had 27 against Rice earlier this season. Dean, another mid-range jump shot, and that's going to go out of bounds to Indiana State. We talked about Dean's early season struggles from the field. This is his second year at Bradley, a transfer from Troy. Brian Wardle desperately needs to see Duke get back to him, his old self. He had the green light last year. He could shoot the three anytime when he struggled here. Active hands. And now uh, Hannah out in front of everybody, and he'll slam it down. Bradley going to create some offense with their defense. Hannah coming off his first career double-double at Murray the other night. 19 points, 10 rebounds. Bradley has a one-point lead. 
Nice move by Julian Larry, the veteran. His improvement year to year has been outstanding. Explosive step on the baseline, and he's at the rim. Boy, that's exactly when he's at his best, when he gets downhill. And Dean knocks down a three. Now, Indiana State's going to go below the screens on Dean. That shot will be open for him. Based on stats, they were not going to go over the top. Dean will make them pay. And answering back with a three of his own is Ryan Conwell, who did not play Tuesday against Southern Illinois. Now Conwell, our thoughts and prayers with him. His grandfather passed away, so he missed that game against Southern. He's come out today in great rhythm. So Indiana State goes back in front. Mysterious Hanna. Drive it in too deep and got out of control. It's a turnover. They'll do the same thing with Hannah the Braves. They're going to put him in what I call the funnel area. Iso him on Robbie Avila and see if they can get make Avila play some defense. So each team with several turnovers here in the early going. That is the third on Bradley. Conwell into the corner for Larry. He'll drive and will draw the contact. It's on Dean. His first. With the Sycamores, you're going to see a lot of empty post, five out around the perimeter, driving lanes, pass and kick. Indiana State 6-1, and one, their only loss at number 24, Alabama, the second game of the season. Avila did not play in that game. He tried to keep it alive, but turns it over to Hickman. Here comes Connor Hickman for Bradley, taking matters into his own hands. Hickman with strength at the rim. And quickly back the other way, tipped in by Jason Kent. He's got four early. See how fast? The Sycamores get up the court, put instant pressure on you. Bradley wants to set their defense. They want to load it each trip if they can. Malave, Leons. Block balance there. And now Swope is fouled by Atlason. And that is the first foul on the 6'8 Icelander. Now this young man, Hickman, he spends a lot of time in the weight room, and this is why the strength to finish at the rim, Indiana State, they're up by a penny. Live sports. Fast and always free drive up at Target. It's not just designed to look good. It's built to command attention. It's not just a comfortable interior. It's a quiet refuge. They're not just headlights. They light the way forward. The new fully electric Audi Q8 e-tron models. Building a better postal service for more on-time deliveries and easier, affordable ways to ship so you can deliver even more holiday joy. The United States Postal Service, delivering for America. 10 million viewers tuned in. All eyes were on her. She's the show. Women's college basketball has arrived. We've moved you. Tonight on ESPN, the Legends of Basketball Las Vegas Invitational. USC taking on number 11, Gonzaga. Coming your way at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock on the Pacific Coast. And Kevin, the Zags on a three-game winning streak. They bounced back from that loss to Purdue in Honolulu. All right, let's look at your keys for today's game between Indiana State and Bradley. They like the three. 
but they love the rim. This is layups and threes for the trees, and they have to get physical on the glass against this Bradley team. For the Braves, we've already seen it. Defensive transition. You've got to get back and get set. They cannot have live ball turnovers. It's going to be two points and maybe even three at the other end. Both teams have turned it over a little bit here in the early going. Bradley with three. Sycamores with a couple. Indiana State with the ball, up one. Jump shot doesn't go. Atlason, outlet pass stolen away and defended going to the rim. Larry, he's going to get to the line. And that's the second foul already on Almar Atlason. Great job by Larry. Just lurking in the weeds. Tips that one out. Rookie mistake by Atlason. Larry tries to make him pay. Larry, all Valley defensive team a season ago, but a guy that they're going to count on to be in double figures just about every game this season. Play. He has thrived in Josh Schertz's offensive system. The improvement by Julian Perry has been tremendous. A great start at the foul line for Indiana State as Larry misses both. In the Valley, you've got to get those points from the line. Avila will clear the miss. Avila can bring it up on the break. He sure can. Afraid to attack. Hannah getting muscled and going to the other side of the rim, Robbie Avila. That is a set play for Robbie Avila. Bring it up himself. Go in the post and ISO. Dean, he's got five early and doesn't get the bounce here at Carver. They've already changed their defense on Dean. They're going to the top of the screens. You know how spread that lane is. Good job here by Bradley getting back defensively. Larry out for Kent for three, and that is good. First three for Jason Kent, the former Brave, is leading Indiana State in scoring here so far. He's back home and playing well. Drive and kick by the Sycamores. That's what they do. You've got to own your own matchup if you're the Braves. Seven for Kent. Floater on the baseline for Dean doesn't go. It's Isaiah Swope, the transfer. Swope's been quiet. He's got one three up. And it's going to be a traveling call. As Kent gives it back to the Braves. So Bradley started 6-0, Kevin. Beat UAB and Utah State in overtime. Also won the so-called challenge. This is a team for Brian Wardle that lost a couple of big pieces to the transfer portal. Rink Mast went to Nebraska. Zeke Montgomery to Rhode Island. But this is a team that's going to look really good at the end of the year. They still have the length. They've got some people in new roles and are developing some bench. Yeah, it's not as deep as it was a season ago. But this guy, that you see hit that jump shot, Hannah has made a huge improvement at the offensive end for Bradley. Last season, 25 wins. Did not win the Valley Tournament. Lost to Drake. It was their first Valley Championship since 1996 in the regular season. And they have been good here in Carver Arena. One lost last year to Belmont. Nice backdoor cut. Hannah with the left hand. Couldn't finish. The crowd wanted a foul. Swope trying to get into his rhythm, and he hits his first basket. He averages 19. They're trying to take his left hand away. He likes to go left for that pull-up. That time came back with the right. Made it look easy. That's going to be on Swope, his first. Swope, three straight games with over 20 points. Preseason third team All-Valley. One of the uh, top newcomers in this league. Transferred in from Southern Indiana. And when Southern Indiana played at Indiana State last year, he hit eight threes in that game against the Sycamores. And now Leons draws contact. And Conwell picks up his first foul, and that's going to send Malavai Leons to the line. 
As Xavier Bledson gets off the Indiana State bench and ready to check in. Bradley wants to use that long front line and attack the rim. Put pressure on Indiana State's defense. Alibi Leon's the defensive player of the year in the Valley a season ago. First team all conference this preseason. We call him the Flying Dutchman. Of course, he had the rink mast as a, as a fellow Dutchman with him last year. He's, he's kind of waving that flag solo this season, but it, no doubt uh, one of the candidates for player of the year in this league. No question. He is so talented at both ends. Last year, 40 steals and 40 blocks. As you said, defensive player of the year in the Valley. And as defensive as he was, what I was always impressed with watching him a year ago, he never got close to falling out. In and out. Here comes Damarian Birch, freshman from Milwaukee. Can't get it to go. Now Larry kicks it out for Bledson. He'll try a long range three and he gets him. Missed layups will end up in hoops at the other end. Birch with a missed layup, three ball by Indiana State. That's what they do. And now Birch off the bench throwing up shots. Birch, the freshman, playing too fast. Can't get caught up in this system of Indiana State, the speed that they play. One of the top high school players from Wisconsin last year, Birch. Oh, green around. Go, Gills at times, and now he's a little out of control on the sideline. That's another turnover. Indiana State with a seven-point lead, 11.34 to go in the first half, and Bledson can hit from outside. Well, his first name's Xavier, but everyone calls him Jabo. Jabo, the assist man, knocking in the triple in transition. The holidays on Dale's farm weren't very festive until he saved big on a Bluetooth speaker with Amazon's last minute deals. And now. Mamacita. That llama is part dancer, part prancer. Shop last minute deals now at Amazon. Does it still count as ending the night with McDonald's? If you order it for breakfast the morning after? I'm ordering either way. Order McDelivery in the app. The warp rift is expanding. All worlds within the Calaxian Veil will be consumed. This difficulty demands a specialist, an ease specialist. Yeah, yeah that, that's me. Geico makes it easy to get coverage for what you care about. Cars, apartments, jewelry. Jewelry? And what about the warp rift? <laughs> I've got you. There, there you go. Oh. Dust in the cartridge. Goonie. <laughs> From cars to renters to jewelry, it's easy to Geico. Cyber Week continues at Academy Sports and Outdoors with Christmas hot deals online and in store. Get 50% off Adidas and Puma fleece, $500 off our new Louisiana Grills pellet grill, and up to $70 off game cameras. Hurry, these Academy Sports and Outdoors hot deals end Sunday. You have to have a dream, a goal, you have to be willing to work for it. We are not going to SP. We need your help. I need your help. We need money for research. It may not save my life. It may save my children's lives. It may save someone you love. And it's very important. Well, it's V Week at ESPN when we partner with the V Foundation to highlight the urgent need for cancer research. You can join the fight against cancer by visiting v.org slash donate. And proud to say I'm sitting alongside a recent cancer survivor, Kevin Lehman. I'm Clay Matvick. Glad to have you along today from Peoria. By the way, man, you're looking great. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Good. So I'm back in the arena. A year ago, I wasn't sure I was going to be here, Clay, but they need funds for research and early detection is huge in the battle against cancer. Amen. 11 and a half to go here, first half. Robbie Avila, the big man, can shoot from outside, but he's off the rim that time. 
And Bradley will get it back down seven. Set play by Josh Schertz. I call him the mad scientist. Come on that, trying to get his five man a good look at the three. Josh Schertz in his third year as the head coach at Indiana State. 23 wins last year. 12 win improvement over his first season. Not bad. He was runner up for league coach of the year to the guy he's coaching against today, Brian Wardle. There's the big man, Mata Yonovic, the 7-1 Serbian getting involved for Bradley. You've got a man crush on him. I like his game. 7-6 wingspan, and he's got the old school hook. Swope shuffled his feet and turns it over. Yeah, he is seven foot one. That equals the tallest player in Bradley history. And he's coming off a career best game, 11 points in 21 minutes Tuesday at Murray. And that is a big screen he sets up top. Leon's backing down Bledson, going to the other side of the rim and finishing nicely. He is so smooth, and we've seen him explode offensively since he's come to Bradley. He was the Juco Player of the Year at Mineral, Mineral Area. Avila is going to try another three. That doesn't go. There's a whistle and a foul away from the ball against the Sycamores. That is a tough matchup for Jonovic against Robbie Avila. They're going to pick and pop him. Going to kick back wide open as Jonovic gets caught going to the rim. And they tag Julian Larry with their foul. You kind of see that he swept the feet out. And, and I'm guessing here that the officials are going over to the monitor to see if this is not something more severe in the way of a foul. Amy Bonner, Jeb Harkness, take a look at the screen. Here's another look. Keep an eye on number one in blue. Get their feet tangled up. Demarion Birch went down on his back. You know, were his feet tangled up or did he do it intentionally? That's the question. Right. Now we got Roland Simmons going to take a look. Third opinion. Here comes Jeff Hartness, our way. It's going to be a common foul. They're staying with that. But got tangled up in a trip afterwards. That's the first on Julian Larry. That's a good piece of officiating. So Bradley's got it with a chance to tie with a three. I like the energy from Duke Dean. Double drag screen by Brian Warner to get Dean a good look. Excellent execution by the Braves. Second three for Dean, and we're tied at 20. Warner will use that review as a timeout. Avila finally finds the range. They're going to do that as long as Jonovic is guarding Robbie Avila. Avila, 43% three-point shooter, gets his first of the day. And now it comes Indiana State again, leading by three. He makes just enough to scare you, but you've got to go out there and guard him. Off the turnover, Bradley in transition, and Leons will slam it down on the feed from the freshman Birch. Bradley's going to show their transition game. We keep talking about the Sycamores, but the Braves can get out and run off turnovers. Avila drives. And gets the bounce. Well, oh, that's what makes him so dangerous. You've got to defend him on the three-point line. Now, like I said, Milanovic is going to have trouble doing that. And then he can do that on the other end. He swats it away from Dean. Big size advantage for Indiana State. Now Larry is bumped coming down the floor. Ah! 
second foul on Duke Dean. Ryan Wall has to get Hannah back in the game. Great block. And then the recovery. The great ones block it to themselves or block it to a teammate. That's a sophomore making a senior play. Derek Forrest, 6'10", true freshman, checks in. He's got it now. Not a three-point shooter now. They can play him differently. Hannah guarding him. And now a travel called against Bledson. Well, it's, been a, it's been a physical game. And that's to Bradley's advantage. Indiana State has not been able to get out in the open court. Team averaging 87 a game. They're at 25. And they're shooting a great percentage. The Sycamores. 58 from the field. Birch has had a tough start trying to get his own miss. Forrest did a good job to defend deep. And now here comes Ryan Conwell in transition for the trees. Off the window and got it to go in. Transfer from Southern Florida. Conwell. Like his game. Upper body strength. The lefties are always difficult to guard. He's an Indianapolis native. Left South Florida so he could be closer to home. Hannah off the screen gives it to Hickman. Nine on the shot clock. Here's Birch again. And the lefty knocks it down. Warble talked about the upside of Birch. Just a youngster learning the game. 42-inch vertical jump. He can get his own. Hey, nice answer for Derek Forrest. His first points. Forrest, a freshman. That's what he does for Indiana State. He is a low post scorer. Talk about Birch. He's going to give you some good moments. He's also going to give you some freshman moments. 7 9 to go here in the half. Coach went in the transfer portal, and this is one that Jim Z got out of South Florida. Conwell to the rim. Indiana State, they're up by a nickel. love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. Where is it? He's up here! At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. Stay away from my family! For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Say you're looking for the perfect present. You might try looking at the perfect place. A place with gifts that light up a face as well as a room. Where it's easy to find the brands they'll love and the advice you trust. That place isn't a warehouse door. That place is your local Ace. Around the block, what you need in stock. With service so good, it's guaranteed. This Christmas, get free assembly and delivery on your new grill at Ace. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. They say there's a first time for everything. And this November proves it. It's the first time all 30 are all in six groups where eight teams advance. These teams have all the star power. To conquer a brand new bracket. This is must-see TV. In the new NBA Cup. So the question is, who's going to be first to take it? It's in-season tournament time. It's NBA on ESPN time. Cyber Week continues at Academy Sports and Outdoors with Christmas hot deals online and in-store. Get 50% off Adidas and Puma Fleece, $500 off our new Louisiana Grills Pellet Grill, and up to $70 off game cameras. Hurry, these Academy Sports and Outdoors hot deals end Sunday. Live sport. Well, tomorrow we're going to have the exclusive reveal of the college football playoff semifinals, the Rose Bowl game, the All-State Sugar Bowl, New Year's Day on ESPN. Reese and the guys also unveiling the New Year's Six Bowl games. And the final top 25, it's four-hour special, starts at noon Eastern after Sunday NFL countdown. Check this out. Uh, just moments ago, we brought a fan 
down onto the floor. Take a half court shot. And guess what he did? How about that? In front of about 7,000 people. Why not? Everybody else making threes in this game. <laughs> Bring him out of the crowd. Especially Indiana State, they're really shooting it well here, Kemp, to start the game. But I'll tell you what, points off turnovers for Bradley keeping the Braves around. Rhythm Isaiah bounce. Swope knocks it down. Rhythm bounce to his left. That is the pet move of Isaiah Swope. you got to make him bounce it to the right. Leads the Valley and made threes. That's his first. As Hickman tries to set up the seven-footer. Jonovic backing down Forrest. And they're going to get Forrest for the foul. I mean, that's, that's seven feet, one inch. And then he's probably about 260, 265 pounds. Well, Forrest is saying they don't have those guys in Rossfield, Ohio. That's a big body to defend. Bradley gives it away. Smith slow. Step back three. And Hickman will pluck the rebound. Swope green light to shoot the three in transition. And as Brian Wallace said, we got to run to the three-point line and build the wall outside the line. Eight-point lead, Indiana State. Bradley trying to chip away. Hannah on the baseline, double team now looking for help. Hickman for three. And that's got the back iron. Bradley needs to dial it back in. They got, you cannot have those unforced turnovers. Now Leons is going to come back in for Bradley. Robbie Avila. And Jason Kent back in for Indiana State. Jason Kent got out to the great start in this game. He scored seven early. Avila's got eight for Indiana State. Eight for Duke Dean. Hickman has been really good on Slope. See how he's playing that left shoulder? Now Avila lost it. Darius Hanna two on one. And Davis will lay it in. Bradley getting some points in transition. Points off turnovers will be huge for the Braves. Very fast pace to this game. Knocked down by Isaiah Swope, his second three. That's a bad sign for Bradley. Leons was there, but wasn't close enough. Team 40% from three as a unit. They average 10.5 made threes per game as Hickman answers back with two. Again, Hickman showing that great strength. Score inside against the bigs. Three ball. Conwell hits another three. And timeout, Bradley. As Indiana State has taken a double-digit advantage here in Peoria. Time out on the floor. it takes a different approach to see the difference you can make around you. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, set your own deadlines and access coursework anytime. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. We 
we've been living it since day one. On the pitch and in the streets. Good shoot and score! Glorious, beautiful, true. Would you believe it? The thrill of every win. The devastation of every loss. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive. Choose counter when you order ahead in the McDonald's app. And you can skip the line and get your food faster. <laughs> well played. Order ahead in the app to save time. We love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. Ranger! He's up here! At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. Stay away from my family! For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. <laughs> Whoa, I have a new iPhone 15. But that amazing camera, I wish my family had them. Zoe, you're an action star. Take action. Join T-Mobile and get four new iPhone 15s on them and four lines for 25 bucks a line. With that camera, I'll be sharing pics from the slopes. You do not want to see yourself skiing. Yeah, I'm good at skiing. Your stunt woman is. This holiday at T-Mobile, get four new iPhone 15s on us and four lines of Unlimited for 25 bucks a line. What do you think of the jacket? You look like a marshmallow. People want to define Gen Z, but that's our job. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time, while I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. been living it since day one on the pitch and in the streets good shoot and score glorious the third state has game. hit five of their last six from three they've got eight triples from six different players if you're gonna play for josh shirts you got to be able to knock in the three ball and they are doing it from all parts of the court. Brad's going to tighten up. They can bounce it. Uh, Indiana State lost its top three scores from last year. McCauley, Nice, and Henry. Shirts had to get some new guys to come in and step up, and he has like Swope and Conwell. And they really love him in Terre Haute. And he got a contract extension through the 27-28 season. And you can see what they did with threes. 340 made threes last season. School record. The year before, 270 tied the school record. There's another one from Conwell. That's his third three. He's got 11. Spreads you out. Move the ball. Knocking the three. And Hickman can't answer with a two. Danger area for the Braves. And it's not like Indiana State lives and dies by the three. They can get to the rim, too. Well, you can see this. You've got no one in the paint. They're playing around the edge, spreading out the defense. Kent tries to track it down in the corner, but it's out of bounds to the Braves. And right now, what's happening is they've got Bradley chasing them, which is what they want. They've got Bradley's defense spread out. And they've got the Braves chasing shooters. And the ball is moving faster than the defense. 
Indiana State a dominating win in Southern Illinois on Tuesday at home. And so far dominating Bradley on the road, their first road game in the Valley this year. And they took this Southern to the woodshed. That's going to be an offensive foul on Yonovic. And the 6-1 Serbian, 7-1 Serbian, I should say, saying, who, me? The ball fake. Not a lot of contact. I mean, the sold it. Avila, beautiful step over and spin move. You know, you're not going to see as many charges taken this year, are you, Kim? No, big rule change. Big rule change. You've got to get that charge. You've got to be outside that arc before the shooter's foot is planted. Most coaches aren't even doing charge drills anymore. This is a tough matchup for Jonovic. Avila trying to stick it right over seven-footer's face. In transition, Bradley with Leons. Meta Jonovic, baseline jumper is too strong. Out of the hands of Avila, and it'll stay with the Braves. And Avila got a finger in the eye. He tried taking a charge there. The crowd wants the flop. He wasn't going to get a second whistle because he got the one before on Janovic. He's going to put the glasses on and stay in the game. He's brought the Jabbar goggles back in the college basketball. He's making those sexy again, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, it's a new look. He got it right there. Ouch. So Janovic is going to come out of the game for Bradley, so is Birch. Hannah back on the floor. Marion Ellis. The Marquette transfer into the game for the Braves. 50 seconds to go. Hickman can't get it to roll down. But Avila picks up his second foul. So Hickman's going to go to the line. Chance to cut into the 16-point deficit. And they've got to get uh, Avila out of the game. Well, don't forget, Sunday featured matchup for the Jimmy V Women's Classic. South Carolina and Duke at one, UConn and Texas at three on ABC, and Ohio State facing number 20, Tennessee at five. Remember this name, Texas, Rory Harmon. Two-time All-American for the long run. That's going to be a great game. Indiana State wants a timeout with 46 seconds to go. It's been a good first half for the Sycamores, especially shooting the three. 50%, 9 of 18. They average a little over 10 a game. We've already got nine here, and we're not done with the first half yet. Well, it's come from six different players. That's the problem trying to match up with them on the perimeter. It's pulled that link away from the basket. This is a Bradley team that likes to defend the rim. Where they got to get themselves out around the three-point line and deal with those ball screens, those pick and pops, the drive-in kicks. It's been a problem. Sycamore's lost two close games with the Braves last year. The losing streak to Bradley is three. And Indiana State hasn't won in this building in seven seasons, something Josh Schertz is hoping he can see come to an end today. So far, so good. The hundredth time these teams have met. Semis last year, Arch Badness. It took two free throws by Leons to win that game by one. Conwell with his fourth three of the half. They are absolutely unconscious from inside the arc. And Leon's just trying to establish himself down low. It's fouled by Isaiah Swope, and that's the second on Swope. As Jake Wolf, the fifth-year senior, comes off the bench for Indiana State. And here's the thing, 
play. They've kept Swope under control. He's got five points. Conwell has gone off on the Braves. They miss free throw. And a chance here for Indiana State to take the last shot. They could lead by more than 20 at the half. Avila is going to attack, stripped by Hickman. And at the buzzer, can't draw iron, and the first half comes to an end. Indiana State averaging 87 points per game this year. Tops in the Valley puts up 49 in the first 20 minutes, and they're on fire from downtown. And 30 of those 49 are from the three-point line as they knock in 10 of those. Conwell with 14. He's hitting four triples. He didn't play against Southern Illinois because of the death of the grandfather. He's come back red hot today. And there's a finish at the rim. Dean tries to answer, but it's been all Sycamores in this first half. Live sports. We've been living it since day one. Glorious, beautiful, true. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. Started for less at Target. We're building a better postal service for more on time deliveries and easier, affordable ways to ship so you can deliver even more holiday joy. The United States Postal Service, delivering for America. I'm always trying to find an edge, always trying to get better for the next game. UFOS is one of those things I take value in. The quicker you can recover, the quicker you can be back out there playing 100%. UFOS definitely helped me recover faster. Jimmy, my man up there, we are not going to stop chasing a dream to beat cancer. You're stronger than you know. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. We're an unflinching, undeniable force. Just can't say enough of oh it. Goodness. That's our move. A new season of Women's College Hoops on the networks of ESPN. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree-lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Mm, nothing but air. I hate to see that. Geico. Bundling made easy. Get the gift you want this holiday from Metro. Like a new iPhone 12 with 5G for $99.99 and no activation fees when you switch. You'll get a dual camera system to capture holiday memories and blazing fast 5G for downloading videos and games. Metro's got the lowest price in prepaid and not a yada yada, which means no contracts, no credit checks, and no surprises. Get holidays without the gotcha, only at Metro. Get your
your party started for less at Target. Oh, Reese's trees, oh, Reese's trees. There's chocolate on your branches and peanut butter in your trunk. That's how all old trees should be. I'd like to eat you right now in a bag of Reese's trees. Oops, wrong song. This is not just a sewing kit. Yeah, you in a rush? Very much so. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is help with the holidays right in your neighborhood. Walgreens. It's not just designed to look good. It's built to command attention. It's not just a comfortable interior. It's a quiet refuge. They're not just headlights. They light the way forward. The new fully electric Audi Q8 e-tron models. They say there's a first time for everything. And this November proves it. It's the first time all 30 are all in. Six groups where eight teams advance. These teams have all the star power. To conquer a brand new bracket. This is must see TV. And the new NBA Cup. So the question is, who's going to be first to take it? It's in season tournament time. It's NBA on ESPN time. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The 
the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN+. Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The 
exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles in... It's wearing blue and they're wearing blue. Uh, Indiana State trying to win their sixth in a row. What a first half for the Sycamores. They've got their biggest lead of the day, 19 points as we get ready for the start of the second half. Alongside Kevin Lehman, I'm Clay Matvick back here in Peoria. Ten threes, most in a Valley game for Indiana State since February of last year when they hit 17 against Valpo. You get the feeling that they might go over that today after hitting 10 in the first half. This is a fun style if you're a player. Today's player wants to shoot the three. They want to get to the rim and maybe dunk it once in a while. Josh Schertz allows that for this Indiana State group. He's Mike Leach. He's the <laughs> mad scientist. A little bit. And, and you want to play fast and shoot the three. And here's the amazing thing. They've got all those threes from six different players. Yeah. So they're hitting Bradley from all different spots. It's just made some really hard matchups for the Braves. Conwell did not play in the game the other night. Uh, he was at a funeral. Well rested. Obviously, he came out on fire in the first half at 14 points. He's got lost in the shuffle. He's getting open looks on those pick and pops. Drive, penetrates, and kick it back out. Conwell has been on fire for the Sycamores. 14 points and four and threes. Had a double-double against Alabama earlier in the season, so he can pour it on, and he did in the first 20 minutes. Also had a couple of steals, and that's another thing. Indiana State forced Bradley into a lot of turnovers, which Brian Wardle told you and I over coffee this morning, we can't turn the ball over against this team. You don't want to run back and try to find those shooters at the three-point line. The defense is distorted. You got to load the defense, but Here's what Bradley needs. They need their offense to help their defense. They need to score some buckets so they can set their defense. They've been back on their heels for the last 10 minutes of that first half. So Bradley in their alternate whites today, PIA, that is the Peoria Airport Code, in case you're wondering. They had their 16-game regular season win streak come to an end Wednesday night at Murray State. And now in trouble facing maybe two losses in a row, but they force an Indiana State turnover as we're underway here in the second half, and Connor Hickman brings it back with a fury and scores. Points in the paint, but you got to stop the threes at this end. And the amazing thing, 49 points by Indiana State. Isaiah Swope with only five. He's averaging just under 19. Nice pass. Can't, can't flush it down. Great look from Julian Larry, but they come up empty. Backdoor cut, Leon's attacks and scores. Transition points for the Braves. And Bradley's got some life out of the locker room. I'll tell you how many times you see a missed layup ends up as transition basket at the other end. Leon's got eight at the half, so he's in double figures. Larry probing. Shot clock under 10, and we get a foul away from the ball that's going to go against Bradley. They had a mismatch inside. Robbie Obviously was trying to get the post up. Well, here's the Missouri Valley Conference standings, the top eight. You can see Indiana State 1-0. League play, Bradley had the loss the other night. But a lot of six and one teams overall as Avila drives and scores. We talked about it at the top of the broadcast. This likely comes down to the last day of the regular season again. And these two expect to be in the mix as Birch will get the and one opportunity. And Birch gets the start in the second half for the Braves. And we saw those standings. They like his game. Pulling the jersey, still able to finish. Birch, the freshman out of Milwaukee, huge upside. And foul on Robbie Avila. And we needed to address this because at halftime, they made a change. We thought he had two personal fouls. It was actually one in the first half. So that's his second personal. And that
Live Sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30. Back here at Carver Arena in Peoria, we apologize for some technical difficulties we've been experiencing as it's a 10-2 run for Bradley to start the second half. Here comes Indiana State back the other way. They led by as many as 19, now 11. And there is a foul down low that's going to go against Indiana State. Bar Warren went with the smaller lineup to start the second half, putting Birch in the lineup to give them more speed and be able to cover up on the perimeter. Make it easier to switch one through five if needed. No personal, just an out-of-bounds play. Conwell, 14 in the first half, gets it to Avila. Nice pass to Kent, and the Bradley transfer knocks it down. He's closing in on a double-double. Avila with another assist as they continue to play through the big man, number 21. 9.7 rebounds for Jason Kent. 
in his first game here since February of 2022 when he was wearing a Braves uniform. Avila will clear the rebound as Indiana State has slowed things back down into their favor. Swope misses the three. Hannah can't finish with the left hand. And Avila will clear it. Avila holds his ground. They're trying to get another foul on him, attacking him. Indiana State has been loose with the basketball to start the second half. Boy, Dean needed that one. He's been quiet since the first couple of minutes of this game. You get that three in early, and then they change their defense over the top. Morrison in the tough twos he has not responded. Dean now three of 11 from the field. There's the Swishman trying to get inside. Avila got some room, but closing was Leon's. And now Kent is fouled. Twice they've run that ball screen. Avila, he's had the mismatch inside with Dean, has not been able to convert. Second foul on Demarion Birch. Indiana State by 13. We step aside. We've been living it since day one. On the pitch. And in the streets. Good shoot and score! Glorious. Beautiful. True. Would you believe it? The thrill of every win. The devastation of every loss. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. Whoa, the new iPhone 15. With that amazing camera, I'll be sharing pics from the swell. You do not want to see yourself skiing. You look like a marshmallow. Join T-Mobile and get four new iPhone 15s on us and four lines of unlimited for 25 bucks a line. You have to have a dream, a goal, you have to be willing to work for it. We are not going to stop chasing a dream with cancer. You look up not giving up in the dictionary. A picture of my wife would be here. You're one of the strong ones, okay? <laughs> Just remember that. You're stronger, you're stronger. My dad would be so thankful for all of the lives that have been saved. They say there's a first time for everything. And this November proves it. It's the first time all 30 are all in six groups where eight teams advance. These teams have all the star power. To conquer a brand new bracket. This is must-see TV. In the new NBA Cup. So the question is, who's going to be first to take it? It's in-season tournament time. It's NBA on ESPN time. Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for in Peoria, Indiana State had a 19-point halftime lead. Bradley outscoring the Sycamores 10 to 4 here in the second half. But has Indiana State weathered the storm here in the first few minutes? They have to respond to what Bradley did. Bradley went with a small line in the second half. They're switching one through five to take away the three. The Sycamore's response, ball screen with Robbie Avila, try to get the mismatch inside, but they have not been able to convert. Bradley picked third in the preseason poll in the Valley behind Drake and UNI, respectively. They're in jeopardy of starting 0-2 in the Valley. Swope to trigger it in, finds Jason Kent. And the Bradley transfer enjoying his time back on this court. Outstanding out-of-bounds play by Josh Schertz. Gets a layup on the OB under. Back to a 15-point lead for the Trees. It's 
Christian Davis back in the game for Bradley, number five. Hickman for three. Connor Hickman, his second three of the half. Quarter threes for Hickman. He's trying to lead this charge back. He's kind of a guy who has a chip on his shoulder this year. No preseason honors. Many people around here thought Connor Hickman should have been an all-conference selection in the preseason. Avila certainly was, and he gets two more. Swope not scoring, but contributing with the passes. And a turnover as Dean lost it at his feet. Lost the high ball screen now by Avila. Going through these teams with double digits in turnovers. It's been a fast-paced game at times. Driving, blocked by Leons. Conwell shaking the cobwebs out as he gets up. This match inside from Big. He got it switched. Seven footer from Serbia. Trying to go inside, and there's a foul on Conwell, his second. Ryan Conwell, no points here in the second half after 14 in the first half. He got the attention of the Braves defense. Now, with the bigger lineup, is Bradley. Well, this is a critical juncture in the game here for Bradley. They made a push at the start of the half. Need to make another one. Ice will play OB to get Leon's a one on one, and he drew the foul. It's a second on Kent. Three team fouls on Indiana State. Leon's draws the iron, and Swope swoops in. Good block out by Larry inside. Xavier Bledson back in the game. He had six of the first half. Three ball. Good. Julian Larry. His first points of the second half and his second triple of the game. He's set up by Bledson's ball fake. Defender went by. One bounce. Sucks in the D. And then the kick out. More threes. Those trees. It's her first of the second half after 10 in the first half. And just like that, the lead back to 17. Hickman leaning in. Will not get a three-point opportunity, but will find himself on the line. And Swope picks up his third foul, and we'll see if that makes Josh sure. The holidays on Dale's farm weren't very festive. Until he saved big on a Bluetooth speaker with Amazon's last minute deals. And now? Mamacita. ¿Dónde está Santa? That llama is part dancer, part prince. Shop last minute deals now at Amazon. Liberty Mutual customized my car insurance, and I saved hundreds. With the money I saved, I started a dog walking business. I was a bit nervous at first, but then I figured, it's just walking, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, it's just a bunny! <laughs> Calm down, Taco! Sit, Duchess, stop! Sesame, no, 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 you're lucky you're so cute. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We've been living it since day one. Glorious, beautiful, true. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. Team today. He loves the rhythm dribble. Get you on your heels and knock it in. And now Hickman drives. And it's going to be a foul on Swope. We apologize again for the technical difficulties. We are back, and we hope you'll be patient with us. 63-45 Indiana State leading Bradley here in Peoria with 13-13 to go. Boy, the story of the game has been the threes for Indiana State. No question. They came out of the gate knocking them in and spread the wealth around 
a number of players put a lot of pressure on the Bradley defense. They've tried to adjust, but they have been climbing uphill ever since about the eight minute, 10 minute mark of the first half. Trying to go back door was Hickman. That was sealed off. Five on the shot clock. Dean, deep three over the top of Avila. Doesn't go, and Kent will clear the rebound. Kent has had an outstanding game as he's come back to where he started his career at Bradley. Been on the glass, complimentary score. He's got 14 points, eight rebounds today, so very close to another double-double. Got a three in, scored a lot at the rim. Kent's been a double-figure scoring in every game this season. Now Bledson attacks. Tries to feed the wing and Jake Wolf, but that failed to click. It's out of bounds to Bradley with 12.25 to go. Well, Bledson has that deadly ball fake. Draws defenders off balance. Bradley hasn't led since it was 9-8. to eight. About four minutes into the ball game. They've been playing from behind. Deep deficit here with a little over 12 minutes left. Hannah can't get it to go. Davis keeps it alive. No reset. You don't want to speed up and play fast against Indiana State. That's what they want. Scoring in the block. Hannah. Soft touch. The lefty. He's got six. His first basket of the second half. There's that mismatch inside. They keep getting Dean on mismatches. Wolf, and he's going to be fouled. And that's on Leon's with 11.36 to play here at Carver Arena. Nice lead for Indiana State. Did you see that? Yep. Looks like rain. Also looks like... McDelivery. Order McDelivery in the app. Geico makes car insurance as easy as loving Parmesan. Say when. Say when. Say when. When. <sighs> With 24-7 emergency roadside service, it's easy to Geico. Fresh ground pepper? Yes, please. Ooh, a sale. Stop! I am the ghost of cash back past. The what? You know when a ghost takes you back to undo something you regret? Yeah, that's what I do. Here's you last year when you made the big mistake. Bangs. No, you didn't shop with Rakuten, so you didn't get cash back on top of sales. You can still save yourself a bunch of money. It's just my ride. Rakuten. Here's your fantasy football tip of the week, sponsored by Fireball Whiskey. If you've been carrying two quarterbacks on your roster throughout the season and one is your consistent starter, once that player's bye week is behind you, drop your backup quarterback. That's an extra roster spot that you can use on a high upside wide receiver or running back. Visit fireballfantasy.com to enter for your chance to win an epic fantasy football party presented by Fireball Whiskey. They say there's a first time for everything. And this November proves it. It's the first time all 30 are all in. Six groups where eight teams advance. These teams have all the star power. To conquer a brand new bracket. This is must-see TV. In the new NBA Cup. So the question is, who's going to be first to take it? It's in-season tournament time. It's NBA on ESPN time. Live.
here in Peoria, 63-47, Indiana State. Kevin, how does Bradley get back in this one? They've got to make stops at the defensive end, try to get some points in transition. If you can score at the free throw line, get fouled, score some points with the clock stop. But it's got to start here at the defensive end play. It's been a great shooting day for Indiana State, 60% from the field, 55% from three. They've hit a dozen from outside the arc. That one doesn't go for Wolf, but they're going to get a new shot clock. You cannot have second chance opportunities for the Sycamores. It's got to be one and done for the Braves. Eight to shoot. Avila. It'd be nice over here. Great matchup with Leons. Avila got it and won. Oh, that's a big basket for Indiana State. As Avila will get a chance at a three-point play. No confidence, Bill. You're going against the best defender in the valley. Iso, back him down. Go through the contact. The sophomore sensation has the touch and the strength. Three-point play. The conventional way. Back to a 19-point lead, which is what they led by at the half. Equals their biggest lead. Avila with 17 points, seven rebounds. Another guy that's closing in on a double-double as Davis hits a three. And that's the third three of the second half for Bradley. That's another way that the Braves could get back in. Well, they can't trade threes for twos at this end. And you mentioned about the game of Robbie Avila. Also, four assists as they continue to play through him. But an empty possession for Indiana State. You want this thing to single digits when you get down to that under eight timeout. Well, for the foul. Brian Wardle's mantra here in Peoria in recent years, compete, defend, rebound. They do those things. The offense will take care of itself. But we're starting to get late in this game. Well, this is good here because you get points from the free throw line. They're going to shoot the one-on-one -on -one here on out. Ten and a half left. Eleven points for Leons now. Conroe who had the hot hand for the Sycamores back in the lineup. So a dozen for Malavai Leons. He averages 17. Under ten and a half to play. 15. 14-point lead for Indiana State. Now here's the danger of this press. You've got to find three-point shooters when you come out of it. Wolf getting some minutes. Swope is on the bench with foul issues. Wolf with two to shoot. Has to throw it up and misses the rim. Shot clock violation. And this Carver Arena crowd hoping that could jumpstart the Bradley offense. Swope has four fouls. That is the big part of the Sycamore's offense. Even if he's not making threes, his ability to spread the floor and spread out to other teammates. And that swims in for Hickman. I said, get it to single digits before that eight minute timeout. Bradley on an eight nothing run. Wolf trying to stop the bleeding. Wolf's misfired three in a row. Leon's attacking and scoring. And here comes Bradley. We'll see if Josh Schertz is going to spend a timeout. Doesn't look like it. The pressure's been good that Bradley has put on. They've gone with a quicker lineup. Switching the screens. Larry sees it roll off. And the shots that were going in the first half are now not going in. Hickman scores again. What a half for Connor Hickman.
15 points in the second half for Connor Hickman. Well, they're getting stops at the defensive end and is turning the transition baskets at the offensive end as Leon's double deeks him, gets it off the window. Hickman with the same. And remember, in Terre Haute last year, big run by Bradley to come back and win that game. Our Carver Arena opened in 1982. They are number one in attendance. Crowd getting behind the Braves. Their last loss in this building, January 21st last season to Belmont. And the last two meetings between these two have been tight as you alluded to. Five point halftime deficit. Zeke Montgomery scored 12 in a row in that comeback in Terre Haute last year. As Bradley made a huge run, we're seeing the same thing here today. They're going to stay in that pressure. It's been good. Swope back in with four fouls. Bradley trailed by 19 twice here in the second half. They're on a 12 nothing run. Eight and a half to go. Swope floats it up. Kent, strong rebound, tipped in by Avila. Avila came from nowhere to get a mitt on that one. Huge putback for the Sycamores. Hickman, not this time. Difficult shot. Avila stripped, now tied up by Hannah, and they're going to call a jump ball. And the possession arrow is going to keep it down on this end. So good defensive play by Bradley. They've got it. Down by nine. Big tip in by Avila at the other end. He was in a sea of white jerseys. Able to get that one in the basket. Bradley cannot allow second chance opportunities by the second ones. Their offense is too, too dangerous. Bradley at the foul line the rest of the way. Indiana State with 17 fouls. Bradley's got fouls to give. Hannah. Five to shoot on the baseline over Avila doesn't get it to go. Kept alive by Leon's. Boy, just great character by Bradley here in the late stages of this one. Well, it's been led by Hickman and Leon's. They've been through the wars before on a team that won the regular season championship last year, trying to will this team back into this game. Sycamore is trying to get it back to a double-digit lead. The switching one through five has really helped Bradley here in the second half. High ball screen. Swope attacks. Handed off for Kent. And well defended by Hannah. The switch the ball screen is forcing Indiana State to drive the basketball with those long arms. Davis, nice finish. And the lead is just seven for Indiana State. A different look on the faces of the Sycamores. They could do no wrong in the first half. Good pass. Swoop got it from three. And the crowd will have to sit back down. And now a timeout. Isaiah Swope with his fourth three to get it back to a 10-point lead for the Sycamores with under six and a half to go. at Academy Sports and Outdoors with Christmas hot deals online and in store. Get 50% off Adidas and Puma Fleece, $500 off our new Louisiana Grills Pellet Grill, and up to $70 off game cameras. Hurry, these Academy Sports and Outdoors hot deals end Sunday. Geico makes car insurance as easy as loving Parmesan. Say when. 
Say when. Say when. When. <sighs> With 24-7 emergency roadside service, it's easy to get go. Fresh ground pepper? Yes, please. They say there's a first time for everything. And this November proves it. It's the first time all 30 are all in. Six groups where eight teams advance. These teams have all the star power. To conquer a brand new bracket. This is must-see TV in the new NBA Cup. So the question is, who's going to be first to take the fight against cancer? It's V-Week on ESPN as we continue Jim Balvano's fight against cancer. Wow, what a difference a year makes. Last year, during the regular season, Kevin Lehman was battling cancer. And about a month ago, our good buddy was declared cancer-free. I mean, you really battled, and uh, we're glad to see that you were able to ring the bell, and you're looking great as the Missouri Valley Conference season gets underway here this year. Well, I had great support from you, Clay. You helped get me through it. The Valley family, ESPN family, my family, my girlfriend Madonna, it, it, it was a journey. Yeah. And emotional battle. I mean, it's... I know the V-Week is very important to you. No question. You, first of all, early detection. you got to get early detection if you feel something wrong. And we got to have funds. You have to have funds for research. I am convinced the money raised by the V Foundation was instrumental in my cure. Tipped up and in by Davis. As out of the timeout, Bradley gets back to within eight. Crunch time here for both of these teams. Just over six minutes to go. Bradley on a 16-5 run over the last five plus minutes. And they've done with the change of the defensive end. The ability to switch one through five and contest the threes. And now Indiana State has basically gone cold from three. They've had one in the last five minutes. Well, they were footloose and fancy free in the first half. Everything was coming easy. Now it's gotten tighter. And they haven't been able to convert on their penetration. There's three triples since halftime for the Sycamores. Hickman having a great second half. Leon's got to go right at. Oh my! Nice finish with the left hand, and he did go at him. Go, you got to go at. Obviously, you got to make him guard you. And Indiana State's lead is six. They've led by as many as 19 a couple of times here in the half. There's the switch. Dean inside. Driving. Larry, no! Conwell puts it up and in. And now Hickman is down and he is holding his ankle. And one opportunity for Ryan Conwell, but the bigger issue for Bradley is Connor Hickman. This is a guy, Kevin, they can ill afford to lose, especially now. Heart and soul, this team. Underrated defender can run the point and the off. Let's hope this young man's okay. One of the most underrated guards in the Valley. I mean, you, you talk to Brian Wardle, he'll tell you that. He thought he should have been a preseason all-conference player this year. He wasn't awarded that. Also thought he should have been on a defensive team last year. He come down his left foot. Came on Avila's foot. Ooh, right there. If you're a basketball player, you know that one stings. And this place has gone quiet as a church mouse. 
Hickman being helped up. And not a good sign. He is not putting any pressure on that left side. Hit those big threes early in this half to help that Bradley charge. And he's going to go off to the locker room. Well, all but four of his 17 points have come here in the second half. He is the reason Bradley is back in this game. Now they're going to go with the freshman, Birch, back in. You give him experience with Hickman. The freshman, Birch. Leon's just picked up his third foul as Conwell will try to complete a three-point play. Conwell with 14 in the first half. That was his first basket here in the second stanza. And he got it. Big three-point play for Conwell. The transfer from South Florida has made his presence felt in this game. Bradley down nine, under five to go. Trying not to lose at home for the first time in, it seems like, forever. They lost to Belmont in January here last year. Haven't lost at home since. It's a foul on Indiana State down low. They're doing isos for Leons because he is getting to the free throw line, going to score points with the clock stop. Leons now with 16. It'll be his sixth and seventh trip to the line. Winning here for Bradley has kind of become part of their attitude, part of their DNA, their identity. And, you know, they didn't lose a game after January 21st. That was a loss to Belmont. And that was a buzzer beater to boot. Well, and it was Ben Shepard with many thought, if you're a Bradley fan, traveled before that basket counted. That was the only blemish here in Carver last season. The interstate gets through the press. Now we're going zone. This is the first time we've seen it from the Braves. Bradley, two timeouts remaining. Indiana State has one. Avila. And it's stripped out of bounds. It'll stay on this end with eight on the shot clock. And Schertz wants a foul on that play. Thank zone you. for one trip. I would, if I'm Bradley, I would not stay in that zone. Go back to man. Lob it into Robbie. He's going to try the deep three. Oh my! Cold blooded. Robbie Avila hits his second three of the game. Right in the grill of Darius Hanna. Back to a 10 point lead. Sycamores have an answer every time the Braves have made the run. 22 points, nine rebounds for Robbie Avila. And Dean answers back with a two on the baseline. First points of the second half for Dean. Now again, the pressure. It's taken the Sycamores out of rhythm. Now they're going back to man out of this. There's the high ball screen. Conwell thought about a three. Five to shoot. Larry. And foul before the shot. 26 to go. Indiana State trying to hold on for a huge road win in the Valley. It's been the Robbie Averless throughout this game. He's got 22 and four assists. The holidays on Dale's farm weren't very festive. Until he saved big on a Bluetooth speaker with Amazon's last minute deals. And now. Mamacita. ¿Dónde está Santa? That llama is part dancer, part prancer. ¿Dónde está Santa? Shop last minute deals now at Amazon. And the toys that he will leave. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your sub right in front of you. All that meat and cheese just for me. Watching that takes me to my happy place. Oh, wait. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Kelly, did I place an order here in my happy place? Not yet, Danny. Then I'm going back to reality. Number seven for Danny. Oh, thanks, reality, Kelly. 
sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Cyber Week continues at Academy Sports and Outdoors with Christmas hot deals online and in store. Get 50% off Adidas and Puma fleece, $500 off our new Louisiana Grills pellet grill, and up to $70 off game cameras. Hurry, these Academy Sports and Outdoors hot deals end Sunday. We've been living it since day one. On the pitch. And in the streets. Good shoot and score! Glorious. Beautiful. True. Would you believe it? The thrill of every win. Tomorrow, the exclusive reveal of the college football playoff semifinals. Reese and the guys will also unveil the New Year's Six Bowl games. The final top 25 starts at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific after Sunday NFL countdown. He's Kevin Lehman. I'm Clay Matvick. Game two for these two teams in the Missouri Valley Conference 20 game slog. That is the regular season in this conference. Indiana State dominating for the lion's share of the game based on their three-point shooting, but Bradley has come alive here in the second half and made it interesting. One of the difficult places to play in the Valley here in Carver. 61 season, 70%. This is what the Valley has done. Ken Palm, they are up to 11 in league strength this year. A plus five from last season. Valley having a great non-conference season. Davis swatted it back on Conwell. Indiana State led by 19. Bradley chipping away at times, getting it to single digits. Largest comeback in school history, 18 points against UNI back in 2018. We're running out of time. Indiana State patient with the clock. Larry. Oh, what a stick back by Jason Kent, who has had a great game. He's been an inspiration for his team against his former team. He has gotten all the little points. And Dean foul at a three-point shot. Josh Schertz right in front of us, like, why do not foul three-point shooters? Yeah, that's the fourth on Larry. Watch Kent come in from that weak side corner, get the put back. Indiana State 14 to six, outscoring Bradley in second chance points. As Dean hits the first, has two more shots coming. Jason Kent with a double double. First time back in Carver Arena for the junior who started his career here. A big free throw coming here for Bradley. Chance to make it a seven point game with under three to go. It allows them to set their press on a made free throw. And he got it, all three for Duke Dean. Full court pressure now. Ooh, fans thought that they forced a slow turnover, but instead it's gonna be a foul. And a slope in, in the corner, trembling against the baseline. Looked like a tie-up by Birch got his hand on top of the basketball. And this is third on Birch. So Swope will come back to the other side and shoot three throws. Indiana State, three of six at the line today. That's a big make there. Swope with a quiet, I mean quiet 15, only five in the first half. But he's hit some big threes, Kevin. He's got four today, two in each half, and they came at critical times. They didn't need him in the first half. 49 points, he only had five. He has stepped up here in the second half, and he's fought through foul problems. He is playing with four, along with Larry, both with four fouls. Bradley can't afford an empty possession. Dean to Leons. Still a lot of time on the shot clock. Tries to feed it inside, tipped around. Birch kept it alive. Leons floats it up, in and out. And he tracks down his own miss. Needs to go right to the rim again. 
Lobs it up for Hannah. Nice play. Mounds has to take this game over with the ball in his hands. He has to be the go-to bucket getter for Bradley. Good ball movement. The play without Hickman. Leons has to step up and be the man. Transfer Swope will pull it back out. Happy to burn some clock here. Shot clock under 10 and we're under two minutes to go. And they'll switch this ball screen. And turned over. Davis to Dean. He'll pull back for a three-pointer. Left it short. And it's out of bounds off of Bradley. Missed opportunity for the Braves. Oh, huge. Dean was going to take the three instead of the two. He had numbers. It worked against the Braves. And Brian Wardle wants to use one of his two timeouts remaining. There's the transition. They got three on one. He backs it out and short arms it. Two Braves come flying in. That is a huge break for the Sycamores. Look at the turnovers today for both teams. And the points you have turnovers for Bradley, another reason that they've been able to stick around in this game. But Indiana State a chance to go to 7-1. Last year, you'll remember, they started 9-1. They were the last unbeaten team in league play. They've got a chance to start 2-0 in league play this year. Huge win. Tuesday night, earliest the Valley's ever played over Southern. I mean, it, they took the Slukies to the woodshed, 77-48. Carried the momentum in the first half of this game. Bradley with some excellent adjustments at halftime. Here comes a full court press for Bradley with 1.47 to go. Is it enough as they're running out of time? Trap all over the court now. Conwell doesn't get the bounce. Kent tried to keep it alive. He says, and Bradley touched it last. And Kent wants a review. And they're going to go to the monitor, I think. Yes, you can ask for a review now in the last two minutes. There's a minute 30 to go. Kent says he didn't touch it last. He said it was Bradley's ball, so we'll see if they'll overturn it. Well, it's going to be hard to overturn that, Kent. I think so, yeah. Kent got a good piece of it. Did go off the fingertip of Hannah is going to be the question. I think this is, oh, there's Hannah's right finger in there. But I think you're right there, Clay. That's going to be hard to overturn. Jim Hartness, Amy Bonner, Roland Simmons, our officiating crew, I think they've done a great job today. They've been, yeah. Especially as physical as it's been at times. We had that early ankle tie-up, personal foul. Seen a lot of turnovers today, a lot of chaos. They've kept it under control. And right there, you can see that Hannah's fingers don't touch it. There. That's a tough one. Depends on what angle you have. If there's not indisputable video evidence to overturn the call, it's going to stand. As the crowd is getting a little antsy here, wanting to see a decision one way or the other. Well, they're showing up on the uh, monitor above as screens for the entire Proud to see, of course. This is a sea of red in here. They're gonna, they're gonna say this possession needs to stand. That's Bradley Ball. That's the call on the court. Now Hickman again to the locker with the injury. Who's gonna step up? It's, in my mind, it's got to be Hannah. Oh, excuse me, it's got to be Leon's in the funnel. Give it to him at the free throw line and let him just go one on one. He's excellent from the free throw line. That's a good point. Connor Hickman unavailable yes. right now, left with an apparent ankle injury. He's been their rock. But Leon's with a great second half as he's got 18, closing on a double-double, 18 and 9. 
But they isolated him a lot here. Leon's in the funnel area where there's no help. And with his length, going one on one, picking up fouls. My contention is in situations like this, Kevin, if you, if you can't see it after a couple, three minutes of looking at it, it's probably just best that it stands. If it's oh. not obvious. Now, we saw a couple different angles, and it would be difficult to overturn from what we saw. We've got some fans to our right that need to get to see a football game. They would just like to get going. And the more they show it on the video board above us, it's going to stand. The louder this Bradley crowd gets, it's going to stand. Bradley ball with a minute 30 to go, down seven. Huge. Huge possession. Jim Hartness just coming over to say yeah, what we suspected. It was not conclusive. There's not enough evidence to overturn it, so the call stands, and here we go. 90 seconds to play in Peoria. Big early season matchup here in the Valley. Duke Dean. Got it back. Turned it over. Big mistake. And now Swope will pull it back out. Oh, good decision. Swope was lost his balance and probably worked out better for him to bring it out and use clock. And now Leon's reaches in on Larry. And he'll go to the line with a minute and five seconds to play. 71% free throw shooter Larry at the line. This is a bad turnover by Duke Dean. Bounce pass at the ankle. Now watch Swope then stumbles at the end and kept the possession. Larry makes the free throw. Is another one coming? Four players in double figures for Indiana State with this free throw. Larry makes it five. Well, Larry and Swope have played with four fouls here down the stretch. Have done a really good job of not picking up that fifth. You're going to see token pressure now from Indiana State. Try to take time off the clock. Switch all screens. Don't give up the three. And again, no Connor Hickman on the floor. Left in the half with an injury. Driving. Burge can't finish at the 10, but he'll get to the line with 53 seconds to go. Put the freshman in the line. He's only been there eight times this season. He's a good-looking freshman from Milwaukee that you know Brian Wardle is really excited about. But you can tell he just needs some time. Yeah, we saw him start this game. Got a little going a little too fast, but Brian Wardle came back with confidence in the second half and started Birch. It had helped Bradley tremendously because they were switching one through five with Birch in the lineup. They found it was tough to play the big man, Jonovic, because of the switches, inability to switch. Rebound, Conwell. And they break the press. And Larry is tracked down by Davis with 43 seconds to go. And if Indiana State can make some free throws down the stretch here, they can salt this one away. And what an impressive road win this would be. Think about this play. They're going to have 10 league games here at Carver Arena. They're going to win eight, maybe nine. This is huge for Indiana State. Bradley's last loss here January 21st of last season when Belmont came in and knocked him off. 40 seconds to go. Lead is eight. Switching the screens and don't foul. Birch steps back. Three is off the mark. And up over the top of the backboard, Indiana State has it. And Avila will check back in defensively. Well, they're going to use 
Avila as a release because of his size and his soft hands. And now Indiana State calls the timeout. You see, had a hard time getting that in. Josh Schertz using his final timeout. Josh Schertz did such a great job at the Division II level at Lincoln Memorial. Runner-up for Valley Coach of the Year in his second year in this league. Had a 12-win improvement last season. And now you get the feeling that the way this team is starting out this campaign, they're going to challenge for the conference title in year three. He calls it corporate knowledge, learning how to play his game. And in year number three, his players understand the system. And the new guys coming in, it's been seamless with this transfer portal, guys. Swope has been outstanding. And we also saw what the other transfer Conwell could do today. Great first half. Shirt said, I had a, at Lincoln Memorial a great system going, a great place, but I want to challenge myself against the best, and we know how good the coaches are in this Missouri Valley Conference. Indiana State will be out of conference until January 3rd when they host Evansville. It's going to be fun. They're going to play at Michigan State later this month, December 30th. First meeting with the Spartans since the 79 National Championship game. That is really cool to go back and play the Spartans in those powder blues that Larry Bird wore. Xavier Bledson, the trigger man on the baseline, gets it in. Swope working around Dean. And now Dean pulls on the arm. So Swope will go to the line. A 53% foul shooter, but today he's two for two. We'll go back to first half, Clay. 49 points in the state rang up. 30 of those on threes yeah. as they hit 10 in the first half. And Bradley back on their heels. Great adjustment in the second half by the Braves, but just not enough to overcome that offensive thrust by Indiana State in the first half. Led by Conwell's 14. Swope got them both, and he has played six and a half minutes here in the second half with four personal fouls. He has been outstanding in clutch situations here late. 20 seconds to go. Leon's strong. Hannah can't get the put back. It's tipped up and in. I think that was Birch. And Brian Wardle is going to use his final timeout with 12 seconds to go. Down eight. Josh Schwartz is going to put his hands team back in. Now, Indiana State was picked fourth in the Missouri Valley Conference preseason poll. Just behind Bradley, Drake picked to win it. Northern Iowa also expected to be right in the mix. Northern Iowa's gotten out to a tough start this year, but they played a difficult schedule, too. But what do you make of an 0-2 start for Bradley? Well, the loss at home is huge to overcome. And they got went into Murray State, one of the most difficult places to play in the league. Belmont, Murray State, UIC come to this league a year ago. They know the landscape now, so Bradley has got an uphill climb with that 0-2 start. And here's the worst part about it, Clay. You've got until, uh, you've got a month to look at that 0-2 on your conference record. Bradley will host Akron on Tuesday. They'll resume Valley play January 3rd at Valpo. And, you know, should they straighten things out and get in the mix for a conference title again. They'll be at Drake on the last day of the regular season in Des Moines. Of course, it came down to those two here last year on the last day of the regular season. And a big game just starting in the Knapp Center as Missouri State, another talented team, visiting Drake. And Swope is going to run it out. Big win for Indiana State here in Peoria. First loss since January 21st at home since Bradley. 85-77 the final as the Sycamores go to 2-0 in the Valley. Bradley falls to 0-2. Jason Kidd with a double-double. Swope outstanding. Sycamores knocking in threes.
For Kevin Lehman and our entire crew on Clay Matthews saying so long from Carver Arena. We hope you enjoyed it. Big win for Indiana State. Save on gifts beloved at Kohl's. Get up to 50% off Cuddle Dead's bedding.